<laughs> of the New York State Craft Beer Competition hosted in Albany, New York. Mm -hmm. Our capital. Oh. Um, <laughs> we have a beer. Oh, boy. A gold medal <gasps> award winning. Award winning? What? Beer. Yeah. And this beer in particular is from the Watershed <gasps> Brewing Company out of Geneva, New York. And this is their gold medal. Brown ale. I think there's flecks of gold in the beer. Uh, it's brewed with all New York State ingredients. Hell it's yeah. uh, brewed with Magnum Hops, 5.4 ABV. Magnum. And this sucker was canned on 2 1 2024. So we're basically a month out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hops, Magnum, grain, uh, pale malt, caramel malt, aroma malt, chocolate malt, Munich malt, and everyone's favorite malt. Tease Falcon. You ruined it. You Sorry. ruined it. Sorry. What's our favorite malt? I have no clue. Beverages. Duh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> drink responsibly. Keep cold. Drink fresh. Oh uh, anyway, <laughs> so, the rails so are... yeah. Anyway, yeah. They, yeah. So this was uh, just like what last weekend. Yeah. They had yeah. competition and they won the gold medal. Gold medal for. Uh, brown ale. Yeah, so I had some spicy jalapeno mustard. I think the spice it's is really like thrown really all his synapses off. Uh, <laughs> Watershed, if you know, uh, took over the old um, whatever it was building. That one. <laughs> I oh, wow! On the tip of my tongue. Right down um, the road from uh, Three Bottomless. And... Bottomless Brewing. Yeah, it's right down the road from uh, uh, Warhorse. Warhorse. Yeah, yeah. That, so, I mean, so. it's a great little trek out there to hit Warhorse and then pop over oh, yeah, Watershed. Yeah. Um, then, uh, like, what, Brewery Arden is right around there, too, right? Jeez, I mean, and then you got Climbing Vines and Big Alice. I mean, there's just a bunch. It sounds like you got yourself a day. Pretty much. Uh, so that looks like a chocolatey, tootsie roll brown color. Now, I'm going to say a sentence here, and people are going to say, you're crazy. But I'm going to say, I've said it before. The brown ale, mm -hmm. to me, is, like, one of my favorite styles. Absolutely. And I love a good brown ale. But then people will be like, that's not correct because you never really showcase brown owls on the channel. There's not a lot of them. There isn't. It, we've How many times have we talked about this where we go into a brewery and they're like, you're going down the menu and go, oh, they got a brown owl. And you immediately try it. Like that, first, right off the bat. You're like, I want that brown owl. Listen, if you, have, if you brew a brown owl and you're a brewery, I want to let you know. I'm freaking in. Personally, <laughs> I'm judging you based on your brown owl. Probably the first beer I'm going to order, at least as sample. Oh, yeah. I'll say, me let me try the brown ale. If you got a good brown ale, I'll say, this place is, you know, you're going somewhere. If you don't have a good brown ale, you probably should padlock the doors when I leave. <laughs> so that being said, I was going to whip on this thing. This better be good. <laughs> oh, man, there's all those freaking malts. <sighs> yeah, that smells like beverage. No, that that is a a, a wonderfully uh, complex range. You're going from like your light roast coffee to like a, a medium dessert kind of roast coffee, then leaning heavily into like some nice uh, cocoa powder, yeah. and just like then you get like a full fudge on brownie into like this like like drying yeah, sweet I don't think cereal I thing. Put it any better that it's exactly like it just it just it ramps up. It Those malts are so front and center and just putting on a show and just the aroma. It makes you think you're like, oh, I'm in for something <laughs> when I take a sip. Look at that. The froth's up at the lacing. It's just like you know a good brown ale, I, I just love a nice like creamy full flat oh, yeah. brown ale, you know. Yeah, and it does. It foams up really nicely Nice tan khaki colored head. Now, New York State ingredients, Magnum hops. I wonder where they got the hops. Maybe that's, cobblestone? That's a good question. I, cobblestone comes to mind first. Hey, guess what? We're going to tag you, probably Watershot, if it's anyone watches this. Is it cobblestone? Is that where you got Yeah, it? let us know. Uh, Magnum hops. I mean, there's a hop that doesn't pop up very often either. So yeah. it's yeah. kind of nice to have in there, but uh, let's dive in. I sit here and swirl this all day. The Tom Selleck of hops. <laughs> Big time. You know we've just dated ourselves to like, Tom Selleck. What does that Magnum PI? Look it up. Yeah, but there's a new show out now, so no, people look up old old. <laughs> look up old Magnum PI. It's a shame that you have to say that, hmm. but I 
The body wow. is underside of medium, but approaching medium. But then, like, right on that back end, that um, the actual mouth, like, the mouthfeel drinks a little bit lighter, I think. Yeah, I, I think it's 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 a higher side of light, but it's still a light mouthfeel. Um, it is, it's cold, but there still is a creaminess to it, I think. Man, those, so I'm getting, like, a really nice, rich, chocolatey cake. Like, it's it's almost like, you know those cake where you, you're like, this is so dense and just a bitter baker's chocolate of a cake? Yeah, so to me, it's a hybrid between, like, it's um, brownies and a chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Like, they have this hybrid. Yeah. Like the devil's cake or whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, you know what's funny? Uh, do you ever, do you know who... Uh, <clears throat> Babish is Benji with Babish. No, so actually Babish is from Rochester, New York. Okay, and he's a pretty suc like successful like chef and everything. Oh, that's cool. And he does a YouTube channel and he's been in all, all the things. Anyways, uh, occasionally on his channel he'll they'll do like the top twenty like they did uh, top twenty uh, frozen pasta things from Trader Joe's. Oh, that's kind of cool. But they did top twenty brownies, and one of the <laughs> lowest scoring brownies <laughs> was actually Jiffy. So, you know, you Jiffy Cornbread mix? Yeah. But they had the brownie mix. Really? But it came off almost like this, like a, a, a cocoa powder cake that wasn't quite the brownie. Sounds like and I, I'd like to And eat. you know what? On top of that, you know, like the confectionery sugar that you powder on mm -hmm. some brownies? And, like, you're like, why does that? Why isn't it on there? But it's on there. I don't know what the Magnum Hop is doing. But there is definitely a hop presence so, in the background. Like I was gonna say, it comes off a bit fruity, actually. That that's what I'm saying. Like it's there's just ever so much of a like bright berry kind of fruitiness hanging around the background. Like almost if you get like a you eat the like a raspberry chocolate brownie. Mm -hmm. Um it's a really pleasant Ooh, like, like that raspberry jam. aftertaste. Yeah, it's really delicious. It's a little jammy. Um fantastic brown now. This is delicious. It is. If, if you're looking for um, a straightforward brown ale, but just with a little bit more pizzazz. No need to bring the padlocks out. No. No need. You keep the doors open. You can keep them open right yeah. now. Uh, uh, yeah, I can see why this uh, scored so high. What do you rate it for a brown um, ale? Oh, man. I mean, just for a beer in general, I think this is a... I'm going to give it a 4-4. Four, four. I think this is fantastic. It's really delicious. I think for what it is, for the brown ale, it's a 4-5. Uh, personal preference, I'll give it a 4-3. Okay. The only, the, the only thing I think I want a little bit more of out of this, I think, man, I think I would just like a little bit more carbonation. Just a, a zip. Okay. All right. I, I'm fine with where it is. I think it drinks kind of kind of clean. Uh, I, I like that semi- Huge chocolate. Kind of cream Huge. note. To, oh, yeah, big time. Um. There is a little like, like caramel drizzle, like light hints of caramel on there. Oh geez, you bring that up. And, and like, and some of the chocolate turns into like Three Musketeers nougat kind of chocolate. Would like, you buy this? Airy. Uh, steamers. Oh, they had it there. Yeah, yeah. So they distribute then. Uh, yeah, they now. just got that stuff into steamers. Okay. And I mean. I was going to go to Watershed and buy it, but then if I went to Steamers, look at their bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, gang, uh, down below, all the links in the world, all under one special <laughs> link tree where you can branch out and get to know us. So, uh, Congratulations to Watershed. Yeah. I'm winning the award for this beer. Well-deserved. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.